Watch you guys got another video for you on how to use Windows 11 online without installing it on your PC. Now this is a great option if you don't want to join the Microsoft Insider program and upgrade to Windows 11 right away. And this lets you have a quick look at Windows 11 online. But first, before we continue with the video on how to do it, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by CD Key Sales. To get your Windows 10 Pro key, click on the Buy Now button Put in my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09. Apply this to get 25% off the purchase price. Submit your order. Then choose to pay with your PayPal account. Then head over to the activation, change product key, copy your product key in and click next. Then click on activate to activate your Windows 10 Pro. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we can have a look at Windows 11 online. We're going to be using our browser for this one. And we need to put in a URL so we can take a look at Windows 11. It will load up and you will be able to move around Windows 11. There is some restrictions on here, obviously, for security reasons. But you can get a good look and feel of Windows 11 by doing this. So let's go over to the browser here and type in the web address, as you can see here. I'll leave the link in the video description. And uh, basically, all you need to do is have a look at Windows 11 here. You can see we've got a fully functional Windows 11. Now, there is some restrictions, but you can still do a fair bit on here just to have a little look and feel. So let's take a look. We've got the menu system here. You can have a look inside here. Now, File Explorer says coming soon. So that's something they're working on right now. But at the moment, you can't access File Explorer. But you can access some other areas on this Windows 11 machine. You've got the Windows App Store. So you can see here, you've got Windows App Store access to this one here. Um, other areas do work on here as well. Uh, we do have the search feature on here. We also have Notepad and other things like that that do work. Now, I'm not going to go into all of these areas here, but there is some other areas on here which you can use. You can see the Edge. We've got uh, Word. We've got uh, PowerPoint. We've got some other ones on here as well. And we also have a Discord and GitHub. I think Discord should work here because that works for a browser. There we go. It says invalid link. That means it's invalid. But you can click to continue and maybe connect to another Discord server. I haven't tested that out yet. Uh, but we've got GitHub here and we've got Spotify. Spotify will work as well. Uh, let's take a look at some other ones here. So let me quickly click on the search box here and see whether that works. We've got Spotify here terminal edge let me just click on uh, some of these let's take a look at the uh, widgets here you can see widgets open perfectly fine and you can see it says a different time and also you can see also it's in india so the person lives in india who has created this uh, page now what this is is basically the person has uh, used a web page to emulate windows 11 which is pretty cool in itself so Let's take a look here in GitHub. This is the actual person who has created the page. And uh, you can see he's got some information here all about uh, what he's done here and how he's created it, why he's created it. And it tells you some of the features that you can use and some of the features you can't use. So it's just got some general facts here. I'll leave the link for this in the video description so you can check it out for yourself. Let's move on to the other areas of this online operating system so what i'm going to do here is go into search and let's uh, take a look at some of the apps here so let's click on the apps and documents these don't seem to work so if i do a search for say calc let's click on calculator and see if this opens up here there we go calculator is opening and we can close that off and we'll try something else here so let's go ahead and open up another application let's try and open up uh, say for instance uh, spotify or something like that so let me just quickly open this up again i'm going to do uh, spotify there we go and we can click on the app to open it and open it up there we go it's open so spotify is there you could play some music through there if you wanted to now you can see there is a public playlist here which I'm not going to play because obviously for certain reasons on YouTube. So I'm not going to be doing that. So let's close this off and take a look at, uh, let's take a look and see if we can open up the terminal. It says we can use the terminal if we wanted to. So right click here 
and we can open up the terminal so we have access to the terminal as well i don't want to spoil it all for you you can have a little look at this at your own leisure have a look at the website and have a little play and see whether you like windows 11 anyway other than that you can always install this on a virtual machine which i would probably go and do if you want to have a more in-depth view of uh, windows 11 but you can see here it is actually a web page i'll leave all the information in the video description my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk big shout out to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group that's basically how you can try windows 11 without installing it on a computer thanks again for watching have a lovely weekend bye for now